everybody and welcome to it. Welcome to my iOS 16 customization video. You guys might have seen my iOS 14 customization video a few years ago, so we're back again and ready for the new update. Look at how cute. I'm obsessed with the customizing lock screen. Love the idea, Apple. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can do that today, where exactly to start and all the steps to follow. If this video helps you at all, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. It would help me so much. And I'm also going to have the timestamps to each step below in the description so if you already know how to do a certain part you can skip to the next but we're going to talk about how to download it how to customize and then just other fun tips with iOS 16 because there's a lot of fun new features so I'm excited to go over them at the end but yeah let's go ahead and just get right on into this so here is my lock screen, but before we get into any of that, I just wanted to show you guys how to download iOS 16. All you're gonna do is go into your settings, then click on general, and then software update. And there is the update, so you will just click download and install on that, and then just let it sit and download for a bit. You might have to go do something else. It might take a little while, but just let that run. And once you have actually updated it, you will get into the customization. So first step is you kind of want to pick an aesthetic slash a vision that you're gonna go for when you're designing your phone. So for me, since it's fall, I wanted to kind of do a fall vibe theme, so that is why it's all like neutrals and oranges and fall but again you could do literally anything I'm going to show you some examples that some of you have sent in on my Instagram make sure you follow me at Julia K Christ on Instagram if you ever want to be a part of these videos too but I want to show you all real fast just some and swipe through them and you guys can get some inspiration So as you can see, there's so many cute other ideas that people have come up with and I just love them all. The idea that I really love is kind of like this one. So like finding a color within a picture and changing the color of like the clock and everything to match the color that is kind of one of the main colors of the background. So cute. So we're gonna get into that. So here is my lock screen, as you guys can see. So the actual background itself, I created on Canva and I will have that for download on my website. So if you want to customize your phone exactly how I have, that's what we're gonna kind of be going over today. But obviously you can do as much as you please and customize it to your own personality and everything. So yeah, my background will be downloadable off of my website, juliakchris.com. I will have everything shown here down there for download. Okay, I have to like keep touching it so my screen recording doesn't turn off. So first I want to show you, we'll just start from top to bottom. So this top message that says, have a great day, we're gonna go over how to do that. First, you're going to need the Widget Smith app, which is what we used a lot last year or two years ago for iOS 14. It's just called Widget Smith. You can download it on the app store and this is how you're gonna make some fun little customized widgets for your lock screen. If you already have it and you're not seeing it, you're gonna have to go to the app store and update it. So you're just gonna go over over and tab over to lock screen and then here we're going to click add text widget and then I go over and click text on the next tab you can see so over here and it says your text here so here's where you can enter any message you'd like I have like a downloadable keyboard that I somehow got on my phone a long time ago I believe it's an app I don't know exactly what it is but it basically has all these different fonts so I typed mine out with typewriter just so it would be a little different so I wrote have a great day and then I want the extra mile and also put a fun symbol in there so I love this little rainbow symbol I had it in my bio I don't remember how I got it but I will copy and paste it and put it in the description if you also want this little rainbow symbol so you can copy it from down there and I added those to each side of that just to make it really cute but you could probably put an emoji or anything you'd like and then you just click save so there it says have a great day and to do that customization you're going to have to turn off your phone and go back to the lock screen. So then once you get to the lock screen to customize, you're going to press and hold, and this is going to enter the lock screen customization mode, which is just crazy. There's so many things, but basically we're just gonna start a new one and to first do the wallpaper like i said you can download the one i'm using off my website or use any photo you click photos at the top it's going to show you some suggested ones and then you're going to set that wherever you'd like okay so once you have the lock screen set now you can edit all of the widgets so this is going to be kind of confusing and a little out of order i'm sorry but now we're going to start an edit to change the little have a nice day so at the very top where it says wednesday september 14th we're going to click on that and then 
you will go and you'll find widget smith and click on text widgets and it's probably gonna pop up there because that's the only one that you've made so there you go it says have a great day and it's just so cute obviously there's all these other options of things that you could do up there at the very top but I just love having a cute little message so that's how you do the little message at the top I think that one is so fun now from here there's so many other fun things that we can customize so now we're going to customize the time and the colors of everything so what you do is you will click on the time and here you can change the font and the color of the dates and times and everything I love this one in the bottom left but obviously there are so many other ones that you can choose from and it's just so fun I like that one I feel like it just looks professional I think this one is also a popular one it's just so fun that you can change this now and then there's all these different colors that you can choose from to change the colors of everything or you can do a custom color and I personally wanted to make a custom one to kind of match my background so you do that by clicking the color that is all the way at the end like the little rainbow wheel and I did the eyedropper tool to select a color and I selected one of the main colors in the background so that it kind of matched with all of that so it's like this really pretty dark orange so there we go and it just is all so cohesive and cute now so that is how you can change the color of the fonts and the time and everything there now we have the opportunity to add on any widgets that we would like to go under that which is so fun that you can put widgets there now I'm just obsessed with everything that we can change now so you do that by clicking on the part that says add widgets and then you have all these fun options look how fun I love to have the reminders there because I love having a to-do list set on my reminders so that always just helps me another thing that I personally really like is the weather I like to check the weather before I'm like going to class every day so it's helpful now that it's on my lock screen and then hmm what else do we want to do I've seen people do their circles so if you wear an Apple watch you can like see your fitness over there you can do your battery percentages or your calendar I had something on my calendar so it looked cool but now it says there's nothing because I didn't put anything on there the rest of the day so but I'm gonna keep my calendar there because I plan out a lot of my life on my Apple calendar so that will be helpful when I actually have something going on and there we have it I think I might change and adjust the color a little bit So once you have customized all the widgets and everything to your liking, the next part's a little confusing and this is what I found it's like the only way that you can customize your home screen now is if you do it from your lock screen, which is kind of tedious and annoying. So if you've been wondering how to fix and change your wallpaper, like your home screen, this is how. So you're gonna click add. And then from here, it's going to, at the bottom, say set as a wallpaper pair or customize home screen. So you have to click that to be able to edit the home screen. I, there probably is another way. I just don't know it yet, um, unless there's not, and this is how it's gonna be from now on. I don't know. You guys let me know in the comments if you found out another way. But then from here, you have all these different options so you can make it a plain color as your background, a gradient, a photo, and if you want it to stay the same as the lock screen, you can have a blur, like, that as you can see that could be for any photo um but for me i want to keep it the same color so it luckily grabbed pretty close to the color that's the background of my lock screen which is nice but if it doesn't do that for you i have just the plain wallpaper color on my website as well if you need to use that if you want to click photos and then enter it from there if it's not working like this for you but it's working for me so i'm just gonna set it as this color and click done and there we have it it's so cute i love the widgets and now when you click on a widget it's gonna bring it there so there's my silly random little reminders that make no sense <laughs> but yeah that's how you customize your lock screen now with iOS 16. I love it. I'm obsessed. You can also have multiple lock screens at once. As you could see, I'll show you some of the ones I've messed around and made. So if you press and hold to go into like your customizing again, you can see all your past wallpapers. So there's one I was just messing around with and there's one we just made. There's one I've had set. And then this one was just like a random color one when I was first messing around with it last month. It's kind of fun, but on Widget Smith, you can also make like a little widget of a photo like to go on there. So there's a tiny little cute one of Keegan and I. Um, I will show you, oh shoot, I said it, now it looks silly. <laughs> but I'll show you how to do that also. You just 
click add circular widget on widget smith and then you'll click on a photo and it'll set it so it's so fun so cute it's a lot of repetitiveness from ios 14 just with your lock screen so there's two different tabs if you're choosing to go the widget smith route all right so now that we have customized our lock screens and made them so so cute I wanted to show you a little bit of my home screen, which again, this is all stuff from iOS 14. So if you are lost and don't know how to do these things, just go watch my older video. It was iOS 14 um, and I'll show you how to do that. But I wanted to show you my cute little arch widget because I was just having such a fun time. Since I had my wallpaper set as like this color, I wanted to get a little creative with the widgets. So I love this arch shape. It's so cute. I've been obsessed with it for a while now and I wanted to be able to make my widgets different shapes, but I didn't know how. But all I did was I just went on Canva and made um, this little arch. And then I set the background of the like whole thing to be the same exact color as the wallpaper that I knew I already was using. So then it kind of looks like a plain arch whenever you see it. But again, it's not gonna look like that. Like you kind of probably saw when I accidentally switched to the purple, it doesn't look like that because it's set to be the same color as the background of this one. But that's just an idea if you're interested in like different shaped widgets. I feel like that's fun. Widget Smith or Apple, if you're watching this, you should definitely make different shapes like that. It's so cute so that people can have more personalized um, but until then we have to figure out a different way to do it on our own so so fun so cute I will also have that widget on my website as well if you're interested in downloading the same one and then that is also the same thing that I did for the widget at the top that is my calendar on widget smith you can edit the background color of a widget and I just stole the hex code that was the same as this background and I put it as the color for the background of the calendar too so so fun and then my little folders I also put that little rainbow emoji thingy um, just on the top to do those. I'm too lazy to do all the app covers again. Those were honestly not mo the most convenient. So I just put all my apps in these folders this time and then put these cute little rainbows with them. So now I wanted to go over just some of the fun little tips for iOS 16 that you might not know about yet. You might, we'll see, I don't know. <laughs> So this first thing is that now we can do this really cool thing with our photos and we can like select and copy just one little area of a photo. So I'm just going to press and hold on my body. It kind of zapped it and then click copy. Then I'm gonna just for fun go over onto my Instagram and go on my story and click allow paste. And it comes on there like a little fun sticker. And that's just so fun, just a random little tip, I don't know, that you can just easily select something like that. I think that will come in handy just for some random things. Just a good tip to have at the back of your mind. Okay, another fun little tip now is that we can actually unsend and edit our text messages. So um, I'm just gonna hold down on this one with Kylie and uh, undo send. Boom, gone. Amazing. Um, so she could see maybe it's saying right there that maybe now she's texting me because she thinks I'm actually texting her. And then if you also press and hold on it, you can click edit. So I could say, hey, what are you doing right now? It's not a face and check. And then it edits it. It's so fun, right? I love it. I love to see it. I just think that's kind of so fun and different and I'm very excited. Now she actually... She does not know that I'm like testing this for a video, so she's gonna be very confused. <laughs> she says, what is happening? <laughs> I don't know if she even knows that you can do this yet, but that's so funny. Um, you could just easily do that. I don't know if it only works for iMessage. I'm not sure if it would work if you're texting someone else that um, the messages aren't blue. Not sure, haven't even tested that out yet, but yeah, just a fun little tip right there. Some other updates have happened in the Photos app. So there is also a new folder called Duplicates. So now it shows you if you accidentally have the same photos saved twice and you could easily merge them to be together if you don't want them to, to take up that much space which I think is so nice because I didn't even realize I had this many duplicates but apparently I have 562 in my camera roll so <laughs> love that <laughs> um, and then another thing is now you have to have face ID to open up your recently deleted which is kind of fun and then one last tip um, if you weren't used to this I know I sure wasn't um, our notifications are now going to the bottom of our screen whenever you update your phone they'll be at the bottom so if you want to change this all you have to do is go into your settings then notifications and then at the top you can see 
count, stack, or list. So I think it automatically goes to stack, but if you would like them how they used to be, just click on the list. Um, I know I was getting a little confused. But yeah, if you do, customize your phone with these new tips that you learned in this video. Please screenshot it and put it on your Instagram story and tag me because I would love to see all of your creations that you're doing with this. I feel like it's just so fun. And I love seeing all the new ideas and combinations that people come up with. So tag me. I'm very excited to see them. Again, my Instagram is at Julia K. Christ. But that's about it for this video. I hope you guys have a great time customizing your phone. And yeah, all right. I'll see you guys in my next video. Oh.